Today, I thought I'd uh, talk to you about four real simple tips you can use when shifting your mid-drive e-bike to make it uh, much more efficient. Specifically, how you can uh, correctly ride and shift your mid-drive e-bike and get the best performance and longevity from your mid-drive e-bike motor and the drivetrain. Now, a lot of people, myself included, get started or got started with e-bikes using hub motor e-bikes, especially if they've gotten into e-bikes on the lower end of the price spectrum, which generally means a uh, hub style motor. I got started on a DIY hub motors. When changing to a mid-drive e-bike, shifting is much different on a mid-drive than on a hub motor e-bike. Now don't get me wrong, hub motor e-bikes are great and I've had several and I've loved them, but for my size and the type of riding I do along with the terrain, I ride a mid-drive bike because it just suits me and my riding style better. The main difference is that unlike hub motors where the motor is in the center of the wheel and it's a single speed, a mid-drive motor, which is still basically a single speed motor, places the motor down by the pedals and it drives the bike through the bicycle's pedal drivetrain and it's basically its transmission. That means you're able to use all of your pedaling gears and you can ride more efficiently, tackle hills better, and overall get a more efficient transfer of power from your pedal system to your rear wheel. Now generally, a mid-drive motor can use its power and torque more efficiently than a hub drive motor of the same wattage when the gear train on your bike is used properly. Now, while this all sounds well and good, all that added power and torque can add extra strain to your drivetrain, like uh, the chain, the rear gear cluster, the rear hub, and the motor itself. Now the really good thing with having all that added power and torque of the mid-drive e-bike is when you learn to shift and use your gears properly, you'll get a much, much more efficient use of your mid-drive motor and help extend the life of your entire drivetrain and the motor. Now here's tip number one. The real secret to any e-bike motor, especially a mid-drive e-bike motor, is to keep it spinning quickly. Keep them spinning at a higher RPM and don't let them lug or bog down. E-bike motors don't like to be kept at low RPM with a lot of resistance or a load on them. With the lower RPM and the higher load resistance, they're going to create more heat, uh, they're going to wear down their internal uh, components, and they're going to do damage to your drivetrain. For example, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make is that they just uh, leave their mid-drive setup with the chain on the highest gear. That's the smallest cog in the rear hub. They just figured that they always want to go fast, but that's one of the worst things you can do. This is especially hard on your entire drivetrain, especially when starting from a stop or riding up hills. The smallest gear, which is high gear, is meant for high speeds and to be used on downhills or flat ground that have almost no resistance or load on your drivetrain. Now, if you continuously use your high gear or the small rear cog when starting or going up hills, you'll probably hear the motor straining. You can tell. You might even hear your chain making some popping noises. These are all sounds that tell you that you're doing something very wrong and you're probably in the wrong gear. So, starting out from a stop, what you really want to do is have the chain on the largest or second to largest gear cog on the rear hub. Now, uh, practice downshifting before you come to a stop sign or a stoplight or when stopping at that favorite taco shop. 
After a little practice, the downshifting technique will become automatic. This will allow your motor to gain RPMs with lower resistance while you're starting until you get moving again. It's also uh, going to help your motor and drivetrain last much longer and require much less maintenance. It's basically the same principle as uh, in a car with a manual transmission. You start in first or low gear to get going and then progress second, third, fourth, and so on. Tip number two. Another big mistake that new mid-drive cyclists make is not easing off on the power of the throttle or the pedal stroke when shifting. Many of the uh, higher-end e-bikes have a shifting sensor that will automatically and momentarily cut the power to the motor while you're shifting. But even if you have a gear shift cutoff sensor, or especially if you don't have one, what you want to do is just let off the power and stop pedaling for a brief second while you shift. You absolutely want to avoid shifting under load. That means while you're pedaling hard or while you're giving it throttle, don't simultaneously start shifting through the gears as your chain is hopping from cog to cog. If you're pulling high power either from throttle or by giving strong pedal assist, you could do serious damage to your rear hub, uh, the chain, or even break both of them. Tip number three. Another option is that you can use your brake levers kind of like a clutch. Now, most e-bikes these days have a motor cutoff sensor switch in the brake lever assembly. Now, when the brake lever is pulled only slightly, the power to the motor is automatically cut off. Uh, with the brake lever slightly pulled, the power is cut off and then you can shift up or down. Tip number four. Now, tip number four is just basically a combination of all of the above techniques, but to use them all, you really need to practice it. So find a place, a big parking lot or something like that that's pretty empty, and then just practice coming to a stop and starting and using all of these techniques. If you follow these simple shifting guidelines on your mid-drive e-bike, you can extend the life of your drivetrain, your motor, and even the whole bike itself. Plus, you'll create all kinds of less maintenance issues. In addition, you'll get a more efficient ride and extend your battery range. With a little bit of practice, all this will become second nature to you and you'll be so glad by extending the life of all of your drivetrain and parts.